Although most men are reluctant to talk about it, an estimated 1 in 10 is affected by erectile dysfunction. Others may have difficulties with premature or delayed ejaculation or a loss of sexual desire. Fortunately, an increasing number of men are now overcoming their feelings of embarrassment and seeking help. The range of treatments available is also increasing dramatically. And since many of the orthodox medical responses remain invasive or carry risky side effects, it is well worth considering the alternative options. So what is ED? Erectile dysfunction or ED, in short, is the repeated inability to get or keep an erection firm enough for sexual intercourse. It is difficult to estimate how many men it affects. However, it is believed about 5% of 40-year-old men, and up to 25% of 65-year-old men may suffer from this condition. When does an erection occur? An erection occurs when a man becomes sexually aroused, impulses from the brain and local nerves cause muscles, in the corpora cavernosa or penile muscles to relax, allowing blood to flow in and fill the spaces within the spongy tissue. The pressure in the corporate cavernosa makes the penis expand, and a membrane called the tunica albuginea helps trap the blood, thereby sustaining erection. The erection is lost when the muscles contract to stop blood flowing into the penis, and open outflow channels. What causes erectile dysfunction? An erection is sustained and successful when a sequence of events occurs in a precise fashion. Anything that disrupts this sequence can lead to problems, either getting the erection or keeping it up. Common causes of ED include damage to the tissues, nerves, arteries, muscles or fibrous tissue near the penis. ED could also be linked to conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, heart disease and prostate cancer. Physical injury that may affect erections such as spinal cord, prostate, Bladder or pelvis injury can also be contributory factors. Any male may suffer from erectile dysfunction at some point in his life. Experts believe that psychological factors such as stress, anxiety, guilt, depression, low self-esteem, and fear of sexual failure may affect and cause temporary sexual dysfunction. Side effects of some medications including diabetes, blood pressure drugs, antihistamines, Antidepressants and tranquilizers may also cause this condition. You may ask, can ED be treated? There is a range of orthodox ways to treat erectile dysfunction although doctors may consider psychotherapy for patients. Other alternatives include drugs, surgery or herbal remedies. What about alternative treatments? The likely success of herbal remedies depends on the nature and origin of the sexual problems says an herbal practitioner for the National Institute of Medical Herbalists NIMH. If stress is the cause, then the prognosis is good. If someone is impotent because of diabetes or atherosclerosis, then the problem is more complex and there will be slower response he added. Several herbs may be useful for strengthening and restoring the male reproductive system and may be effective for erectile dysfunction. They include yohimbine a nature-based drug derived from the bark of tree yohimbine tree but it has a few side effects similar to the blue pill and because of its side effect this plant and its substance is prohibited in some countries korean red ginseng traditionally used for male impotence though no current studies support this usage tongkatali an herbal aphrodisiac from the root plant found in southeast asia swiss oats a green oats and nettles found in Switzerland and renowned for their effects on sexual energy. Jamu, a traditional, Indonesian natural medicinal concoction made with herbs. Beautia superba and Mucuna caledii, herbs extract found in Thailand that is used as a sex enhancer. It is found to contain bioflavonoids which may support blood flow and promote normal sexual function and erectile capacity. It can be taken orally as a supplementary health or product, or topically for external application. Other alternative therapies include acupuncture, hypnosis, pelvic floor exercises, and low-frequency electric currents, and mirror. Here's some information on nutritional therapy. It is important to consult a physician about erectile dysfunction to determine the cause, correct any underlying factor, and receive appropriate treatment. Nutritional and lifestyle choices that can contribute to difficulties achieving and maintaining an erection include long-term alcohol consumption, 
smoking and poor nutritional choices, that is diet of processed foods, fast foods, and refined foods. Poor dietary choices may lead to vascular disease which is the most common cause of ED, which interferes with the erection process by restricting blood flow to the penis. It is important to have a healthy diet of fresh fruit and vegetables and to consume sufficient vitamins and minerals, including zinc. You may also tap on natural resources, like seeking herbal help. Vitro and Power Plus contain beauty a superb active compound. Flavonoids and flavonoid glycosides is a supplement to boost and enhance men's sexual health. Studies relating to ED or erectile dysfunction have shown that high flavonoid and flavonoid glycoside content tend to support blood flow, thus helping to improve sexual function and erectile capacity. Unlike prescribed drugs, Vitroman Power Plus does not seem to give rise to increased heartburn, heartbeat, hypertension, or headaches when consumed. A milder herbal supplement for men, Vitroman Power Plus has come to be regarded as a natural alternative remedy. Vitroman Power Plus is retail at $60 in Singapore, at chain pharmacies departmental stores and TCM retail shops. For more info and discreet delivery please visit www.vitroman.com and www.yumtray.com